So, welcome to the Literature Club. I, uh... And it's T-34. That is basically what I thought of when I loaded this up as well. And yeah, so, I've, I have played through this before, and I was quite surprised by it, and I was like, man, I should have recorded this. And I went, wait a minute, you haven't played this yet. So have you played for, like, a while ago, or is it a new thing that you played through recently? I played it yesterday. Technically the day before and yesterday. So now it's your turn. My turn. So who will be the name of our heroic adventurer on the, the look hey for one? <laughs> oh yeah. So we got invaded today in Dark Souls by a guy called The Guy, whose head was five times the size of his body. And he, he was could great. fly. He was cool. Hey! So we're going into this game with... Do you have any expectations here? I don't know what it's about. Disturbing stuff apparently. Disturbing search for love. I see an annoying so we... girl running towards you from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. As expected. Go to Sayori. Sayori? I reckon it's Sayori. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it's kind of worked out because you've been each other for so long. Yeah, that's the, the best type of friendship. I love those. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I'd get tired of waiting up. Sleeping's nice. Is it though? If she, but if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, no. I would write a sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let's say worry catch up. To those who haven't guessed, this is a free improv with loud breathing. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I overslept again? But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Ish. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, the guy. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird. Oh, that's. Who's talking no, again? That's the guy. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple. Fine, fine, friend zoned again. But you did wait for me after all. Because you don't have any need to be mean even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, sir. Yeah, yeah, nervous yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled as other students making the daily with, with other students making the daily commute. I mean they could as as well. By the way, the guy? Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Yeah, it's yeah, I've got this. Uh... I'm not interested in joining any clubs. <laughs> See, we've got these really nice fine wood ones, or there's a metal one over there. I haven't been looking either. Something tells me we're gonna get the literature one. What makes you say that? I thought we were going for the anime club. That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Sure is possible, and I think have many conversations where I dismiss him to <laughs> go along with whatever she's on about. Ah, yes, the best talks. She likes to worry a little bit too much about me, but I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average, spending my free time on games and anime. Like a normal person. Like a normal person. Uh huh. See, even she agrees. <laughs> so talking about how I was worried that you won't learn to socialize or have any skills before college, I'll have you know the ability to max out your. Uh, level in, uh, in, you know, two days on WoW is a skill well needed in college. We call it the daily grind. Especially vanilla coming around. Ooh. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And so is WoW. <laughs> and I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a niece in a few years because you're not used to the real world. I blame the anime. You trust me, right? No, 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 the anime is what's teaching him about the real world. <laughs> Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look, look at a few clubs if that makes you happy. <laughs> no promises there. No dying now. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! When someone says, I guess, before they say they promise. I guess! <laughs> I'll think about it for one second. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a pet carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me must ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. It's a big head. <laughs> the 
school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Exciting. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at a wall like a true millennial, wondering where's my phone? <laughs> clubs. <laughs> so he wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice, but to start with the anime club. Oh boy. No choice, by the way. Like, he- nothing else. There is nothing else. Except, school, like. except the hello of his friend running down the hall going, why haven't you joined my club yet? Say, so, Audrey? She wants to come to the classroom and I'll space him out. Look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out like some sort of loser, so I came in. I'm stalking. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if that's going to make you late for your in club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... No, what? Blackmail. <laughs> well, what if you came to my club with blackmail? Hey, worry. Yeah, blackmail. There is no way I'm going to your club. What? But my blackmail. I what know what you did yesterday. Room. You stayed inside and watched anime. I'll Device tell everybody. Literature. Not that I was ever aware that she had an interest in, interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% she only did it she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. She was the first one to share interest after the one who first the club she inherited the title from Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even more. Bottom of the barrel, you yeah, said. Yeah, I go into the anime club. Yeah, I'm gonna go watch anime. There's a guy who dresses like Naruto in there. Just, you know, it seems like my kind of dudes. That's... You can't watch anyway. <laughs> Well, I kind of told the club yesterday <laughs> I'd bring in a new member. Hence the blackmail. And Naruto made cupcakes and everything. Shout to Naruto. Yeah. Nervous laughter intensifies. <laughs> make promises you can't keep. Can't tell if she's that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as the plan was out. I let out a long sigh. Yeah. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cup. Yes, let's go! The blackmail was a success. Put away the knives, ladies. That's today, marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori down across the hall and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit being generally used to the 30 classes and activities. Now I'm just gonna put it out there, when you're selling your soul for something like a cupcake, I mean, I could think of worse things that could happen, but I think the ultimate question is, who did you sell it to? That's pretty relevant. Yeah. It is pretty relevant, because the cupcake's nice, but there's some people you just don't want to deal with that. Glance around the room. Whoa there! Welcome to the Literature Club. Girl huh. Whoa there! Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Sayori's always saying nice things about you. <laughs> Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, the guy. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome to the club. What words escape me in this situation? This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking, looking at? at? If you want to say something, say it. Find me. He backs off like a beta male. Tsuki. Not Tsuki. I even say that with a No, not Tsuki. <laughs> I think you'd then just cut off any idea of pretending to make it Japanese. <laughs> Natsuke! <laughs> no wait, that's even worse. The girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuke is the one I don't recognize. I will just use whatever comes to mind now. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's probably older than you are by a thousand years. It's T34. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Probably boys, man. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. That'll make it go away. <laughs> Sorry, says quietly into my ear as she turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Always full of life and energy and hate. Mostly hate. This is Yuri, by the way, the smartest in the club. You can tell by the incredibly long hair. The whole saga thing is like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timid, Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. She does seem like the odd one out of the crew right now. Well, Why are- nice This is nice and we both. 
I don't know, can you handle that American accent better? I, I don't try. I have no idea how mine sounds right now. Like I'm just trying to pretend I'm a Cree. Sounds like a Cree. Uh who's song you now? That one. Right. Yeah, and it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. I asked for Are they all American? <laughs> Oh, no idea. Cream. I'm making it up to go along. If you can come up with a voice you can actually stick with and remember, that'll be great. Smiles. All right, she's into it. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. You know, we we we, we, we looked at each other once. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. If Perfect this was day. if this was a Japanese game, she would have black hair and a. Uh, uh, what's the word we're looking for here? The, the s expectations of her family crushing her into a little <laughs> ball. You, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Come sit down, the guy. We've made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. But we all know it's me, right? <laughs> I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'll make them. I'll get them. <laughs> oh, they both gonna be American, are they? <laughs> oh, right. That's not the other. I think I'm gonna look more like a chimpanzee. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk. I, I ain't gonna talk. talk. Yeah, something like yeah, very high voice. And how about I make some tea as well? <laughs> <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sari mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayuri. It also has a sign saying you must sit here on pain of death. <laughs> Natsuri and Yuri walk over, by the way, Yuri, I should really call it that, Yuri, walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the cupboard. Closet, close enough. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. <laughs> Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Oh, actually, so you want to handle that one and the MC? Sure. For now, I guess. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> so ready for this? Whoa! Very exciting. Natsuki royals the foil. Roll. Natsuki lifts the foil, not the royal or the loyal, off the tray to reveal dozens of white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Look at that grin. She's loving this, and the others are deeply disturbed. Like I'm just. <laughs> There's some faces of horror going on here, and then there's just cats. one huge shit-eating grin. There are actual whiskers plucked off cats. <laughs> the whiskers are drawn with icing, little pieces of chocolate we use to make the ears. It's so cute! It I, had no... <laughs> I had no idea you were so good at baking, that's great. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> How are you take one? So Harry grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sorry, talks with her <laughs> mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. And the motor mode here just shoves it straight in. I turn the cupcake around my hands, looking for the best angle to proceed my assault upon its fair, creamy chest. That's the key. It's key is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is real good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like a... <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't this one of my animes? <laughs> made them for you, alright? But... This really is like one of my animes. <laughs> I thought you did. Sorry, sir. Oh, may have been. And I'll put, you, you know, you. <laughs> We need a bunch of cowboy hats on these characters. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, alright. What's Tips here? hat. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss <laughs> the conversation. I also put my hat back on my head and prepare my pistol for the uh, the, the fight at noon. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of us before sitting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You will keep... Wait, that's you, I think. The whole tea set in the classroom? I feel like this one's mostly British. This one's British. Don't worry, the, pe the teachers gave us permission. I don't know, I was thinking that or a hard Russian under up the Yuri, but that keeps making me think more of uh, IS-2 from that Panzer game? Yeah, this one seems less scary. I guess. 
So Brit's less scary. I think she's the normal one, by the way. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you with tea. Eh, that's not insulted. Yuri <laughs> looks away. I meant that, y you know. Nah, bro. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> just stick with the McCree one. I <laughs> British on command for me doesn't work very well because I do that normally half the time. So what made you consider the literature club? Uh, I heard illegal blackmail was involved. I felt like I needed to investigate this as a president. <laughs> here it is, the blackmail's showing up already. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, so I'm really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. She does that to all of us. <laughs> Seriously, help. <laughs> As a president of the literature club, in name only, it is my duty to make sure that every, to make the club fun and exciting for everybody. While Sayori runs us all in the background, she's got little us like puppets. <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? Sayori forced me into it. You probably have more favor than any major clubs. Sheer and small Are you the leader of the big club, boss? Well, you know, I tried debating with Sayori, <laughs> and she destroyed me. Damn politics. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events and then how much bribe money I can get. I'd rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. It's not like it's a debate club or anything. And if it encourages others to get into literature, I'm fulfilling that dream. Moika is really a great leader, aren't you? <laughs> Yuri nods in agreement. Just waiting for a few <laughs> I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club. Must be hard to start if you club. It's pretty hard collecting souls. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when Sayuri said when something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. That knife point makes it much easier. <laughs> but it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. Because we can get away from her. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Right everybody? We'll do all best. <laughs> you know it! <laughs> <laughs> Different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so, de so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Fresh meat for their ever-growing army. Still, I don't really know how I can keep up with the level of enthusiasm about literature. So, <laughs> so a guy, what kind of thing do you like to read? Oh, you know, a good book. Considering <laughs> <laughs> how little of Rizzi's policy is, not really a good way of answering that. Uh, manga. You know, the good book, a manga. And so his head suddenly perks upwards. Hair clip flies over to the other side of the room as, like, just whips around. It's Looks like she wants to say something. No much of a reader, I guess. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior? <laughs> what am I saying? I, I spoke without agree. thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with her finger. My favorite's usually novels about deep and complex fantasy worlds. With guns. You know, the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate by her readings. She seems so reserved and timid from the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes tighten up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Well, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep physical, psychological, physical <laughs> elements. When you combine them together, well, it immerses me deeply. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own imagination and then throw it out the window and stomp it like yesterday's dinner? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror and westerns. I read Goosebumps. That honestly feels more in character. I desperately grasp for something I can relate at at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri may as well be having a conversation with a rock. 
Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I just can't put it down. So real horror is very successful at changing the way you look at the world. Only for a moment. Just whips out like a like a six pile shooter and starts shooting at like the blackboard over there. I hate <laughs> Oh, why is that? Well, I guess. Siri's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You back out. You just like cute things, don't you? Why? What makes you say that idea? Mo's the bad. <laughs> a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It said Moe's the best and all people who don't like him should die. I mean, it's a poem. <laughs> fine, fine. It's your cupcakes as promised. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> Look, when you handle too much into Moe, this is what it does to you. <laughs> Moe is a mistake. Since put off your hide and make your head shake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, well, sometimes. Why do you care? I think it's important. Why she shit on something? Nope. Let's get your birds arise. You wouldn't block them. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Nutsky feels. Sharing that level of riding takes more than just connection. The truest form of riding is riding to <laughs> oneself. You must be willing to show, open up your readers, expose your vulnerabilities, showing even the darkest reaches of your heart. Mine's just a picture of a sun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a riding experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Nesky feel comfortable enough to share hers. I mean, Lisa Barber make her everyone share. <laughs> I guess it's the same thing. I'm sensing a group of shut-ins. I think our MC will feel right at home here. Yay, neats. Yay, an army of literature neats. We all sit in silence for a <laughs> Oh, and the one normie, which is this one. <laughs> I have an idea, everyone. Not socializing. <laughs> Look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. I didn't join this club to do work. Yeah, let's do it. Dance, my puppets. <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, the guy? Monica crazy. smiles warmly at me once again. Hold up. Hold up now. <laughs> What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this entire time. Where's the anime? I never said that would join. That would help me at gunpoint, I swear. I never made it to the <laughs> Some other clubs look at it and, um... Lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. One's fingering a gun, but I can't quite tell from here. But, um, oh, I'm sorry, I just thought. <laughs> the guy. You all. I'm defenseless against these girls. The blackmail is real. How else am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, <laughs> if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, I'm out! <laughs> Let me out the door! <laughs> I got a date Sorry. with that Naruto nerd. <laughs> in the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me and jumps up and down. Hey! Real nerd scare me for a moment. You really just came for the cupcakes. I'd be super pissed. That makes it official. Sign here in blood. Welcome to the literature club. Alright everybody! I will have the master milk. <laughs> I think that we can officially I think we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. We forced another person into our club. Everyone remember their assignments tonight. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Yeah, in front of a crowd. Have fun with that. I really look to see you express yourself. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Can I really impress the class style Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsumi clean up their food. One of those, who knows? We're making it up, and I'm pretty sure we haven't made any assumptions on that. Pink and Peach are close Pink enough. and Peach are close enough. That's right, Zuri and I never walk home together anymore, because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Well, I went and watched what anime. A <laughs> what a loser. At least I did what I loved before I died. With that, the two of us depart, to the cl depart the classroom and make our own way home. The whole way, our mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayuri, Natsuri, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to cl grow closer to one of these girls. Or maybe I'll find a- but who am I kidding? I ain't gonna read any books. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Yay! Yay! Oh, I think we'll end part one there. And then next time, we're going to be writing poetry. Happy. Amazing.